Super HCM Pro is a line of action figures made by Bandai which features mecha from the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise. Mobile suits are basically giant tanks or space armor in humanoid form. I have the Zaku 2 in Char as Naval Colors which was released in 2008. So, after 15 years since its initial release, has this figure stood the test of time and how would it compare to more recent Gunpla? Let's find out! I got this figure pre-owned but the mechanical base that comes with it hasn't been built. Inside the box we have a card insert, the instruction sheet for the base, the main action figure, the parts of the base, and the weapons consisting of the Heat Hawk, a Zaku machine gun, and the bazooka. The parts for the base are undergated so it required minimal cleanup. I love the proportions of this action figure. It has huge shoulder armors and chunky ties. The proportions are closer to the master grade line. Moving on to the details, this figure has been painted with pastel red and wine red on the main body. The decals are placed well, not overcrowded, and adds pop to the figure. The cooling cords or coils are made of a single rubber part which is panel lined, but you can see some mold lines. The main gimmick of this figure is that you can remove some of the armor parts to reveal the internal mechanism. The internal parts and the joints have metallic paint with some panel lining and white details. The thrusters and some tubes are painted gold. The chest part opens up with details underneath and also reveals the cockpit. On the leg, there are holes where you can connect wires onto the base. You can notice paint imperfections on the details that I assume were hand painted, but overall everything looks nice. When this was first released, the details are something we don't usually see in 144 scale unless it's a custom painted model kit. Starting from the head, it can turn 180 degrees side to side and can look up and down. You can open the top of the head which reveals detailed parts underneath and the mechanism to move the mono eye. The shield mounted on the right arm can move different ways. It has a joint similar to the real grade model kit. The shoulder armor on the left arm has a similar movement. Arms rotate 360 degrees from the shoulder and it can move sideways all the way up. It also has a butterfly movement going forward and back. The arm has double joints on the elbows, and the armor behind slightly moves as well. The upper arm can be rotated, and the hands have ball joints. The fingers are articulated similar to earlier Master Grade model kits. You have the thumb, pointing finger, and the rest of the fingers lumped together. The torso has very minimal movement and this could be the only downside to this figure. The front and side skirts can be moved to allow leg movement. At the back, the skirt moves as well and there's a latch which can be opened to hang the bazooka. The thrusters on the backpack have ball joints. The legs have generous range of motion, it can move sideways this much and can move forward and backward this much. The knees bend on the double joint with additional articulation on the knee armor. The feet has a ball joint and can move sideways, forward and back, and has a toe bend. The accessories include a mechanical base, a bazooka, the Zaku machine gun, and the heat hawk. The Heat Hawk is nicely painted and has a clear effect part included. These weapons have the same feel as the system weapon kits from Bandai. The main accessory is the base. It has markings and the plastic has a metallic effect. 
It comes with cables that you can shape and attach to the Zaku, and you can mount the weapons on both sides. You can display the Zaku as if it is being repaired. The base looks unique and you can't buy it separately. This would look nice as a diorama or as part of a bigger base. It's compatible with other high-grade model kits as well. The level of detail and engineering on this figure is impressive even today. When this was first released in 2008, the articulation it had was something you'd not normally see on 144 scale model kits. Nowadays, some high grades and the real grade line would have better articulation and mechanism. But a fully painted and detailed figure like this one can easily outshine snap-built kits and even robot damashi figures. The only downside is the very limited torso articulation. This action figure also shows the history and development of Bandai's engineering. Looking at the design, one can say that this was the basis for the real grade model kits that were released in 2010 and the other model kits that followed. The Zaku 2 is a timeless design and the proportions of this figure hit the right spot for me. For a 15-year-old figure, it could easily hold itself standing side by side with more recent model kits. The proportion is different from the high-grade Gundam Origins line, but still commands attention with its chunky, solid-looking design. It's going to be more difficult to find this action figure, so if you can find one at a reasonable price and in good condition, go grab it. The Super HCM Pro Zaku 2 in char as naval colors is an iconic mecha with great detail and articulation, and it has a permanent spot in my collection. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can support my channel by hitting like and subscribe. My name is Al. I'll see you on the next one.